Hello there. Ready for a fight? A challenge? someone a visit. Judging by your face, we are not here to rekindle an old friendship. You could have told me, you know. I'd have gone either way. I'll always be here for you. Thanks, Andrew. That's real sweet, but I'm not too keen on elaborating on my motives. You're here with me now, and that's what really matters. Wouldn't you agree? you what the fuck are you doing here 
This is private property, and you have no business here. We don't give a damn about your warehouse. What we want are answers, and like it or not, you're gonna talk. <laughs> That's it! I'll tell you what you want to know. Very well. You're the one who used to turn in people who were an obstacle to the ASC, right? The one who was sending innocents to rehabilitation camps? No. No, look, it's way more complicated than that. Yeah, sure, I was in charge of making up evidence back when proof was needed to frame some of them. But with the ASC out there headhunting, now all you gotta do is send an anonymous letter to get someone deported. But most of the time, it wasn't I who was in charge of deciding who had to leave. We would get together and present those who might threaten us. It wasn't a single man's decision. Anton wasn't our chief yet. Not most of the time, but it happened. You sent a bunch of street kids straight to a camp, and I don't see what threat they represented, so? Why? Personal vengeance? What the hell did they do to you? Nothing, but a girl from that gang came to see me. She told me that another kid had overheard us, and she wanted to turn us in. It was believable. And since that snot-nosed kid could have talked about it with his gang, I turned in the whole group. You're lying. It doesn't make sense. None of us would have turned in someone in the group. I know what I'm talking about. Why would I lie to you? The kid, I, I, I think her name was Gloria. You lie! Gloria would have never done anything like that, you son of a... You're gonna die, scumbag. Nisha, you were that guy's victim. You're the only one who knows what to do. Andrew, shut your fucking mouth. I'm sorry. If I can... if I, you know... Sorry. Fortunately, this is beyond my skill level. Unfortunately, this is beyond my skill level. Did not this. Hush up. As we close in on the city, I'll have to dodge a shit ton of potholes made by the fuckload of traffic. So I'm gonna need absolute concentration. Noctis is quaint, but I... Too businessy for my taste. Well, it is a merchant city. Indeed, but where's the science? Where's the progress? After all, science is the one who made all this possible. I mean, it's also the reason why we're stuck here. When we get there, we should go say hello to Dandolo. He hates it when I don't stop by to peck him on the cheek. I still like this city. It was the first human place where my brothers could roam free. I didn't see many of you there, though. So many memories over there. 
So many bad ones. The nostalgia of spending hundreds of hours in the unloading area, filling and emptying Marcello's sand sails. Is nostalgia the right word? Because past aside, it feels like home now. Zachariah, your help would be indispensable once more. I'm listening. First, I want to thank you for helping me, my mother, and all the mutants. I don't really feel like I helped your mother, but if you say so... Sometimes you have to look beyond appearances. I miss her a lot, but at least she did not suffer thanks to you. But let's get back to what I wanted to talk about with you. I managed to get in touch with a man who can provide us with military equipment. And we are going to need it because we have to be able to defend ourselves. But that man will never do business with the mutant. That is why I need you to negotiate in my place. If you wanted to look like a merchant from Noctis and go to the meeting point with me, I'm sure that he would agree to sell you the surplus we need so much. That doesn't sound too complicated. I guess I can do it. Thank you. We will never forget what you did for us, Zack. Come join me when you find a merchant outfit, and we will go to the meeting point together. It is below a shadow path. I will show it to Amelia. Zachariah, what can I do for you? Not much news in Ophir about Aurora defeating Abundance. You heard anything? Word is that Green Hope's defeat brought an end to the fighting. Aurora apparently took control of the Hydroponic Center using militia alongside Technomancers to support their army. And at first, Wisdom showed himself a worthy military strategist. Using the militia in battle, such people properly motivated can be surprisingly effective. You'd have to bear witness to the poorer classes of Aurora, to fully grasp how badly they were mistreated, to fully grasp how much the mere promise of a place in the Council would motivate them to fight, to fully grasp how it helped to deliver quite a blow to Abundance. And while Aurora adopted new strategies, Abundance remained predictable. They had almost no Technomancers, since it's becoming harder to find them in Ophir with each passing day. An interesting development, yes? And one that wiped out their army. Yeah, thanks for the info. Hey there. What do you want, human? I heard some mutants escape from a prisoner camp. You hear anything about that? Hasn't everyone? Not in Ophir, where the news never went public, no. It was only a rumor there. What do you know? I know if Ophir's men hear of it, it will cause trouble for us. For those among us who are still slaves there. It could also give your brothers back there some hope again. And to show them that we are able to rebel and escape? Uh, yes, hope. So I will tell you. For my people, life in camp was hard, to say it lightly. Hard labor during the days, brutality during the nights. The prisoners would take out their frustration of being locked up out on them. The guards and prisoners alike battered them with their frustrations. Then, one day, one of ours struck a guard who was trying to stop him from going to the aid of a brother. After he fled, the guards then stated that if he did not come out, 
they would execute ten random mutants. That was the moment the rebellion began. A prisoner from Aurora helped my brothers. With tools, they incited riot. Blood flowed. Many died. Some escaped. But, at the start, few thought to flee. At the beginning, they wanted only better lives where they were. It became obvious, though, the repression that would come would be worse than ever. That the only chance for life was somewhere else. Scum, the mutant who struck the guard, led them to freedom. They escaped without even being chased. The story came directly from Scum. A great speaker. A great hero. Thanks for the information. Captain, good to see you. Always, Lieutenant. Zack. Thought you'd look a little worse for wear, but... You look good. I should probably be pissed that you stole one of our rovers. I guess he didn't have much of a choice. What do you need? If you're here for help, start talking, because every second I'm around you is a bona fide hazard. And I don't want to have to steal a rover myself. How are things? Heard there have been a few changes. Thanks to your escape, yeah. Now most Technomancer officers are treated like traitors. And the Army's barely got a voice now that it's under control of the ASC. Can't tell friend from enemy anymore. Everyone's watching their own back, suspicious of everyone else. Paranoia is caught like a virus. I don't know what's going on, but I am worried what it means for our corporation. We are sinking into an era of terror. Beginning to act like the very Aurora fascists who we hate, who had their own men assassinated. Rumor has it that the number of soldiers in the barracks is declining. Despite official reasoning that it's downsizing because we're no longer at war. Unofficially, it's because many of your colleagues have been arrested, and even more replaced. Replaced? By members of the ASC who report directly to him, and now make up half my company and who should be out watching over the population, but instead spend their time watching over us in support of the Colonel's little power grab. Just saying. If the man decided to mount a coup against the Dowser, not sure there's much we could do to stop him. I found refuge in a city that doesn't belong to abundance, if you can believe it. But it seems that Victor managed to infiltrate it. I know I'm asking a lot from you, but if you have any information on this, we're talking about an act of aggression toward a foreign power, and what I'm telling you is akin to treason, Zachariah. It's almost sure that Victor is preparing an attack upon our refuge city, but not with our own troops. From what I was told, he has hired mercenaries and even embedded some of his men. The craziest part of the story is that he's preparing a war without an army with the sole goal of capturing you. At this stage, that verges on psychosis. He's obsessed with you. Watch out. He's becoming more and more vicious, and he won't stop at anything to capture you and your Technomancer colleagues. Thank you, Captain. I know the ASC's in Noctis, and I bet they got in pretending to be the crew of that caravan. They gotta be embedded in the population by now, hiding in plain sight. If they're pretending to be merchants among real merchants, that's not gonna fly too long. If they were smarter, they would have come in as refugees. Better start asking around. I'm sure folks aren't buying it. Hi. Hello there, Mr. Manser. Good to see you. So, what did you learn? I was able to get some answers for you. Great. 
I knew you would. Go on, what did you find? Keep names out of this, be clear. Of course. Our sources are always protected. Go on. According to my source, the army's reducing its troops by 50%, and the official reasons are the rising rates of desertion, the number of Technomancer arrests, and the shrinking size of the standing force during peacetime. But she says this doesn't explain everything, as many good officers and soldiers are being let go without reason, when replaced by members of the ASC. In fact, the fear is, if the ASC attempted a coup today, the army couldn't stand in the way, because there are too many ASC entrenched in its ranks. That's terrifying. And it's news that'll hit the hearts of people in this city. All the people with soldiers and their families, soldiers who fought hard, now being fired only to make room for spies. What else did you find out? I talked to an expert on corporation politics who had first-hand knowledge about Aurora and us. And how'd he say abundance lost? Aurora's troops were led by a general named Wisdom, who used Technomancers. And apparently they've got a lot more than we do, especially recently. So Abundance arrests and detains you and your brothers, our greatest weapons, and fall because of it. Guess that's karma. But what's more, they rallied the common people, recruited local and national militias who were feverishly motivated by the promise of gaining a voice on Aurora's council. Aurora became the first corporation to empower its people to fight. So while Aurora brought everyone together for the war, strengthening their numbers, Abundance fought weakened, bleeding their ranks, arresting its own Technomancers. Our army, well-trained and well-equipped as it is, didn't stand a chance. We lacked the Technomancers to lead the charge and the motivation of Aurora's militias to persevere. That's incredible. By giving power to the people, Aurora all but assured its victory power of unification is real. And the self-sabotaging nature of our government ruled by paranoia and fear cost us the war. I also talked to a mutant who heard about the camp breakup and the mutant who led it. Fantastic. And? The mutants in that camp were living in hell, day in and day out. They'd finally just had enough. So one day, a guard was beating on a mutant too tired to work. As much as the others pleaded, the guard wouldn't stop. So another mutant stepped in and hit him back. The guards threatened to kill ten mutants in retaliation. And that lit the fuse. With the help of a prisoner from Aurora, the mutants got their hands on some tools. And the riot started. They weren't trying to escape. They just wanted the abuse to stop. But the way the guards reacted made the mutants fear that it would only get worse. So they got out, led by a mutant named Scum. It's now a bit of a legend among them. And where'd they go? I can't tell you that. Fair enough. You need to protect your sources, right? Another story the people need to hear. It's what happens when you mistreat beasts long enough. Eventually, they'll turn on you. Thanks for all the information. Once I write the articles and get them out there for people to read, I think the people are gonna have a wake-up call about how different the truth is from the propaganda their government's feeding them. Hope it makes a difference. You and me both. The real change has to start with the truth. Hold on. I've got one more thing to ask of you, if I could. One more thing to really make sure we can ignite some change. And what's that? We put our news on the city walls. The man who's been doing it for us lives in the exchange. Getting there, though, has honestly gotten too dangerous for us. So you want me to be your delivery man? A deliverer of truth. To those who have been starved of it, yes if you would do that for us. Yeah, I can do it for you. I'll see you later. <laughs>